Hey guys, Retro Reviews here again with another Power Rangers uh, Megazord video review. And this time I'm reviewing the Thunderzord, or the Thunderzord Assault Team with the Red Dragon Zord. Now, this one is like the worst shape I have of Megazords. As you can tell, you... As you can tell, I've already missing pieces. This is... Wait... Let's set up the staff and this piece. But this is all that I have of the Thunder Zords. My Red Dragon Zord is complete though, out of all of them. I, did, or I don't have any of the power crystals or the little guys that go on top. Wish I did because that would be sweet. But we've got the in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Zords were formed from the original Dino Zords. So, the Dino Zords kind of got enhanced powers and became the Thunder Zords and were used from then on. So, what we've got for Zords is we've got the Red Dragon Zord from the Tyrannosaurus. The blue unicorn from the Triceratops. The yellow griffin from the Sabertooth Tiger. The black lion from the Mastodon. And the... I want to say pink, but there's no pink on it at all. Phoenix. Out of the... Uh, out of the uh, Pterodactyl. So yeah, the, this is all of it. It's good set. The... Uh, the griffin and the unicorn can roll. They've got these two little cylindrical pieces on bottom for both of them that just allow them to roll. And they roll pretty well. So now on to the first thing is going to be the Thunder Zord Assault Team. But before we get to doing any of that, we need the Red Dragon Zord. Since the Red Dragon Zord was sold separately, and you can because he can uh, do stuff on his own. He's got articulation, his arms can move, but that looks goofy. And his mouth can open. And his neck can bend. And so can his tail. And now to transform this one, what we do is we take off the tail tip and fold up the piece like that and save it off to the side. Take off the head. Come over here and close these in. Same over here, just close them in. And then I straighten up the arms. Take this piece, open it up, and rotate it all the way back, and it'll clip on back there. Fold down the legs, straighten them up, rotate them around, fold this piece up, I forgot to do that. Oh, and I rotated it around backwards. Like that, rotate the arms down, and now you take this piece, and it plugs in there, and then you take this piece, and you rotate that out, and there's his head, then you rotate the, uh, you open up the dragon's mouth all the way, and then you fold these pieces back. And there is the Red Dragon Zord in Warrior Mode. And we need him in Warrior Mode so we can do the Megazord, or so we can do the Thunder Zord Assault Team, which uses the tray. I don't have the stand for the Phoenix, sadly. So, what we do is underneath the Griffin and Unicorn, there's this groove right here. And on the base for this, which is very dirty, there's these chunks right there that are sticking out and the groove will just fit on around those just like just like that same goes for the unicorn just like that and then the lion's ord uh, there's this piece right or this space right here that goes over this piece right there and it just kind of rests over there like that 
and then the pterodactyl or the phoenix would go over that and then oh I forgot the staff to the dragon sword uh, open up his hand and then there's this piece right here in the center that will close that we close the hand around and then he can hold on to it and that half is chewed up and I don't know what happened to it but then on the Thunder Zord Assault team there is come around here on the tray there's these two little foot pieces that he stands ever so perfectly in and he could ride this and this thing can fly but in the show but I don't like doing that because as you just saw oh and my red dragon sword's head is very loose so yeah I don't like doing that and he could he's supposed to roll too but my tray is also missing all the wheels so it just kind of scoots along the ground all right anyways so now on to the megazord formation since I don't know how much time I have left on this video Damn YouTube. Get these out of the way. Get this out of the way because you don't need this for a while. Prep the other Zords first. Uh, oh, and also I have the Phoenix standing on this, which we don't need because it didn't come with this set. It comes with a later set that I'll show after this video. So now you take the unicorn and the griffin and they both transform the same way you come back here and there's this piece right here that folds out like that and then you fold up their necks and tuck in their heads and then fold up this front piece and we have a foot same thing over here fold that out fold that up foot and now I'm doing this show wise because it's the only easy way to do this. Take the staff out of the Red Dragon Sword's hands. And then what we do is we fold forward the feet and rotate them out so these pieces are standing out back here. Also want to get his arms out of the way. So then the uh, phoenix, or the, not phoenix, but the griffin and the unicorn both have the same thing. There's this little groove right here on this side. And what you do is, it's a tight fit, but it'll work. You, get, you just got to make sure that the spine on the sides of Red Dragon Zord's legs go in there. And it's a very snug fit. And it does the same over on this side if it will want to go, and if I don't put it in sideways, and ruin the toy. There we go. Just like that. And then we take the uh, phoenix, we take off its tail, and we tuck its head back. And now these two little gray clips back here are going to plug on to the red dragons or the little black clips back here. Just like that. And now there's these two little bits right here on the side that will go over these two spine pieces on the side of the uh, Red Dragon Zord. And then that goes over and it will go over on the same side if I had the other side. So now we're almost done. We've got one Zord left to attach onto this. And it is the Lion Zord. And uh, what we do is we take off the helmet off the back, which there's these two little clips on the sides right, right there where my thumb is, and there's grooves right here. The, the top grooves here are for the helmet to stay on because the helmet forms its tail. So you take that off, you take off the body and lift it up, and then you separate these pieces out and they form arms and how they form arms is you take this piece right here and you fold it out and that becomes a right arm you rotate down that arm right there for the red dragon sword and just clip it on and over and it'll stay in place 
Do the same with this one. On and over and stay in place. And now you take the rest of this and fold that up. Come back here and there's these two little black clips which will fold out and mine are broken right there. So it's not gonna wanna stay on. And then these two clips will go into the armpits of the Red Dragon Zord. So it just slides in like that. And then you take the uh, Lion Zord's uh, headpiece that came with it earlier, and then the two clips in the back with the two clips on the helmet get lined up. If it wants to get lined up, ah. There we go. And so now we have the Thunder Megazord. Which this is one of my favorite designs of a Megazord for Mighty Morph Power Rangers. And then we can also take the sheath. And this little hook piece right there is going to hook over the wing back here of the Firebird. And there we go. Now I don't have the sword, which is a bum, which is a bummer. But what I do have is a secondary weapon. You could take the staff of the Red Dragon Zord and take the tail piece of the Phoenix and clip it on. And it becomes a staff for the Thunder Megazord. This is very nice. If you like, if you like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and if you especially like the second season with Lord Zed and the new Rangers, pick them up. This one's really awesome. I do like this one. I almost like it a lot better than the uh, original Megazord, but the original Megazord still kind of beats everyone else. So. That's it for this video review. I hope you guys like this. Many more video reviews to come, and I hope that I'll see you guys next time.